Hello and welcome to the Book Doctor's YouTube channel with a very special guest. Joshua Moore is the author of five novels, including Damascus, which the New York Times called Beat Poet Cool. He's also written Fight Song and Some Things That Meant the World to Me, one of O Magazine's top 10 reads of 2009 and a San Francisco Chronicle bestseller as well as Termite Parade, an editor's choice in the New York Times. His novel, All This Life, won the Northern California Book Award. His first book of nonfiction, a memoir called Sirens, was recently published. We are in here in the Garden Island of Kauai, and we have Josh Moore, who is a fantastic writer and teacher, and we're gonna pick his brain a little bit about the world of books. So, first question. Do you think that your tattoos have proven to be uh, an important part of your literary process? Absolutely. I get a tattoo for every new book. Really? So this is the this is my first protagonist with Rhonda. Wow. My last book is called Sirens. I have a Sirens tattoo across my nice. chest. So I, mean, I always think about tattoos as kind of being scribbles on cave walls. Yeah, this right. Is, this right. is my cave, man. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and so would you advise uh, young starting writers to, to get the tattoos? Yeah, and in fact, I just told your 11-year-old daughter that she should start getting <laughs> tattoos She ASAP. has a really cool uh, <laughs> impermanent one right now. So can you just give us a tiny bit of background? Yeah, how did you get into you the start in being a writer, became a writer, professional author? Yeah, sure. My first job out of college, I was a production assistant at an ad agency. Uh -huh. This was in the late 90s, like under the first dot-com boom in San yeah. Francisco. Yeah, yeah. And I had about 45 minutes of task a day. Right. Where I had to write where the producers were on a whiteboard. That but was I, it. That's that was all I had job. to do. The whole thing. <laughs> but I it's couldn't get gig, up. Man. Couldn't leave. Right. So I started to scribble stories. Uh, I'd been a musician for years, uh -huh. but I got tired of relying on other people to express yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always somebody yep. with a cocaine nosebleed who wasn't showing up to band practice. <laughs> And I realized that I my that robot. Guy. Yeah, well, I was the guy. I was the guy. Actually, I was the guy for a while too. I'll be honest. So it was just this, this amazing uh, point to say, what if I can express myself without somebody else? Yeah, so I yeah. just really fell in love with the form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. So how, and how did you go about going from there to writing a book and getting it published? I went to graduate school. Okay. I went to the University of San Francisco for uh, writing to get an MFA. Uh -huh. yeah, I feel like I mean you could learn anything on your own that you can learn in an MFA program, yeah. but you're just going to kind of compress the timeline. Right. right. I knew that this was the only thing I wanted to get good at, right. so I went, took the plunge, uh, wrote my pub my feet. My first book was my thesis. Yeah, right. Came out in 2009. Made Oprah's 10 best of the nice. year. Nice. Wow. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. And how did, you find, how did you find an agent and a publisher and that kind of stuff? I got lucky, you know, I mean, this, that's the thing that writers never want to talk about, the luck I know. component. Yeah, I, know. I got lucky too. Everybody wants to talk about, I pulled myself yeah, up. Right, right. <laughs> but, you know, I scraped and clawed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So All we what can happened? Kiddle. Did you query a, a series of agents or did someone come after you? No, or? I queried five, my first five, and I heard on the same day from two agents. Wow. Uh, one at ICM and one at William Morris. Wow. Okay. And I hopped on the phone with both of them and said, tell me what my book is about. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Tell me what my book is about. And one of them nailed it. And the other one wanted me to write something that wasn't what I was intending okay. to put on the page. Right, 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 right. So okay. it made my decision very easy. Yeah, yeah. Because we run into a lot of clients who want the editor to change their book around. And sometimes it's not what they want to do. And they, you know, go, okay, I'll do it with their, their teeth gritted. And it never ends up well. Sure. Yeah, yeah. And I feel at the end of the day, it's important that our loyalties to the book and not our hubris. And as long as we're reckless explorers, we're going to get to where we want to go. Well, also, explorers. I think there's something really important about what you said, which is that you were interviewing the yeah, that, agent yeah. Yeah. and not vice versa because it's your artistic right. work, well, not... And, so many people feel they have to kowtow to this, yeah. whatever the agent I don't wants. want to besmirch the agent's good name. Sure. But like, they're just commissioned sales That's people. That's right. <laughs> we keep trying right? to tell our clients that. We're the ones That's who are right. setting the trend. That's and right. they're trying That's to right. pimp what, the work that we're doing. That's right. Yeah. Right. And, right. and That's actually, right. in the class that we're teaching here, this is one of the main things we're trying to teach people, is they're going into these pitch sessions with fear. Right. Yeah. And, and yeah. you know, thinking that they have to impress this Sure. person when actually the dynamic is should be reversed right. 
Like yeah, you're yeah. auditioning them. No are you the right person for me? No what are you going to do? What you got? I love what you said. Yeah. What's my book about? That's sure. fantastic. Well, I wanted to just talk if you're very briefly about this thing with the senses that you do because I was really interested in it. Yeah, we taught a four-day master's class this week on the five sense yeah. psychology. Yeah. So taking all the senses that are externalized that we use to render setting mm -hmm. and try to use that's the same principles to render your protagonist consciousness yeah. as though it's an inhabitable place right. for the reader to spend some time right so I, I would make the argument that's the hardest thing we do as writers to inhabit a consciousness that's not our own and bring it to vibrant life for the audience yes. could you give us an example of how that might work yeah well the last sense we were talking about today was danger this idea that we're not all afraid of the same things. Mm -hmm. right. Like somebody might think a pit bull is a predator yeah, yeah, yeah. or a spoonful of peanut butter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it really depends on their particular system of life experiences, what they've learned along the way, and how do we convey that idiosyncratic information to the audience in a readable way. Right. Okay. My wife is terrified of moths. I am. Ooh, why did that come from? The, the giant, when I was uh, a very small child, okay. and uh, I I don't know what it's from. <laughs> I was once, the killer stuck, Venezuelan I was once stuck in a room with a bat, and they have a similar kind of oh. weird flight thing. But so a anyway. moth is just a small bat, bat. is that what you're telling <laughs> me? Yeah, exactly. And there's some psychological insight yeah. right there. You put it right on the couch, just like yeah. that. Absolutely, exactly. there it is. So my right. final yeah. question, yeah. which could, that could have contained, but what, if you had to give one piece of advice to authors out there who have not yet gotten successfully published, what would it be? I have a tattoo on my arm from our good friend Pablo Picasso oh, yeah. that simply says the chief enemy of creativity is good taste. Oh. Uh, I, and the reason that really resonates with me is I feel like writers do themselves a huge disservice when they chase the nuances of an era. It's up to us to write the book that only we can write and really celebrate the power of their particular imagination. Love it. That's perfect. Oh yay, baby! That's there it is. All right. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, sir. Nice wow, to meet you. Awesome. Thank you. My pleasure. All right, Aloha, everybody. Aloha, everybody. See you at the bookstore. At the bookstore. <laughs> Hello and welcome to. The... Are we doing this? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Really so helps. we 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 have to make this not too long, so we have to get to the heart of it, the which essence. is, what advice do you... Hold on, before we oh. go there, I want to I just talk a little bit about... locked up here. <laughs> uh, This is the way it works. This is symbiosis, baby. Uh,